of his old teams, the Cowboys. Jason Garrett, the head coach, has yet to receive an extension or a true endorsement from Jerry Jones. Now reports are circulating that the Cowboys might replace Garrett with Saints head coach Sean Payton. Keep in mind, next season will be Garrett's last year of his deal. Kenny, both of these guys coached the Cowboys while you were there. Would Dallas be better served with Sean Payton at the helm over Jason Garrett? Well, I think Sean Payton's a better coach, so the obvious answer is yes. Now, I don't know if this situation is going to happen. Now, Sean is very fond of the, fond of the Cowboys organization. He was the assistant head coach when Bill Parcells was the big guy down there making mm -hmm. all the decisions. And so Sean is very familiar with the organization, and I believe there's mutual respect from that Jones family towards Sean Payton and the kind of coach that he's developed into. That being said, I know Sean Payton signed a contract extension with the New Orleans Saints a couple of years ago. And, and he's got I don't two think, years left on and that. I, and I don't think they would be in a hurry to let him go especially with the young core of players that they've been able to develop now Drew Brees we don't know how long he's going to play but I mean you got to think that Sean Payton has a pretty good situation down there in New Orleans so I don't know if this marriage is actually going to take place but I know there's been a lot of posturing back and forth and there's the old cliche that you're only as loyal as your options. Now, that's both for the Cowboys and for Sean Payton. I know that there have been scouts and people close to Sean Payton that said that that is a job that he, he would love to have. It's an iconic franchise. And, of course, everybody knows the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. So I know that that is factoring in in there. But I don't foresee Sean Payton leaving New Orleans to go join the Dallas Cowboys and be their head coach. Listen, I think with two years, $18 million left on his deal with New Orleans because he signed a five-year, $45 million deal before the 2016 season. I think this is unlikely and that New Orleans would make him available. By the way, if they wanted to trade picks for him, the Cowboys, keep in mind, don't even have their first right. round pick this year. There'd be some type of cash compensation. But I also think that the only reason Jerry Jones has not publicly committed to Jason Garrett and given Jason Garrett a contract extension going into the final year of his deal, which is when coaches get their extensions, you almost never have a lame duck coach in the NFL, is because he thinks it's possible is because he thinks that, that this is, he doesn't want to slam the door shut on this before he knows that it absolutely can't happen because even if you believe Jason Garrett is underrated, underappreciated as a head coach, I don't know that anybody thinks he's a better coach than Sean Payton. And if the future of the Cowboys is going to be dictated so much by the progression of Dak Prescott, especially once he gets five years, 125 million bucks, I would rather that be Sean Payton leading that progression than Jason Garrett. But there are a lot of moving parts here. It's just odd to me that after everyone got a sign of endorsement from, from Jerry Jones, the quarterback, the wide receiver, the running back, Jason Garrett helped this team rally from three and five to a playoff win, that he's the one guy, when Jerry's always been loyal to him, that Jerry won't go on his radio show. And when he's asked about him, he's like, ah. Because he was I, asked. He was asked about him. About him. 105.3 in yeah. Dallas. And yep. he was like, I have no, there's no no reason for me to make some statement about that right now when he said when things could open up like what does that mean other than he thinks maybe they could get Sean Payton I'm sitting over here and I'm brainstorm trying to think of what do I make of this and I think it's tremendous amount of irony too earlier in the show we talked about Sean Payton in the call the NFL not making a statement about them losing if Sean Payton wins that game do y'all think we have the same subject uh, as Sean Payton potentially being a Dallas Cowboy coach, if they win that game, just if they're still playoffs. playing, no, yeah, no, if they're still no, playing, if they're still playing, no. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like, I mean, would we still? I don't think we would have. No, I mean, I no. think that the, the conversation started before the game, and they, and so the, the conversation about Sean Payton potentially leaving New Orleans started. I think it would be happening irrespective of whether the Saints win the Super Bowl, losing the Super Bowl, or losing the NFC Championship. I think there's two people that can end it. You guys hit the first person, Jerry Jones. They asked him on the show. He didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Sean Payton's the other person. There's a reason why Sean Payton hadn't dismissed this. Mm -hmm. Right. He likes his name to be out there. Mm -hmm. Also, Sean Payton lost that game, and some of that responsibility in New Orleans against the Rams, it's on him. So if, I, if I'm able to move the goalpost a little bit, they won't be talking about me throwing the ball on first down. Mm -hmm. They won't be talking about my decision making. I lost that game in overtime. Let's be able to talk about something else that is a little more distraction. I don't think it's a real possibility right now. 
making nine million a year, working for Gail Benson. Her late husband, Tom Benson, died uh, less than two years ago. Mickey Loomis, mm -hmm. that's his right hand man. That's who he's communicating with compared to doing business with Stephen Jones, Jerry Jones, compared to who he's doing business with now. I, 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 I just find it hard to believe, as long as I've been around this league, to believe that there's a lot of truth to this. Let me ask you this, C, real quick. Sorry, Kenny. I, the, because I know that Bill Parcells is one of your guys, and there is nobody that's a bigger Bill Parcells guy than Sean Payton. Obviously, Bill Parcells was your He's coach. my guy, yeah, he drafted me. Absolutely, yeah, drafted so that's you. My guy. So you guys, what do each of you think Bill Parcells would say if Sean, if Sean Payton had this opportunity? Sean Payton today, What's being the head coach of that team like? What are the positives? What are the negatives? What do you think Bill Parcells would tell him? Well, when Parcells was the head coach in Dallas, they pretty much let him run the show. I mean, he Different was the one that ran fair. the draft. It wasn't Jerry or Stephen Jones. Yep. They gave him full autonomy, and Jeff Ireland was his right-hand man. So I think a part of why Parcells walked away from that Cowboys job Another is because bar. Jeff Ireland is still the right-hand man, Mickey Lomas, in New Orleans. Yeah. So there is some combination connective tissue. Go Absolutely. Ahead. And so I think a part of why why Bill Parcells decided to leave was because Jerry Jones was trying to insert himself in football decisions. So there always is that that tendency for Jerry to get involved in football business, and that might not be something that Sean is interested in. But Bill Parcells also believed that it's better to leave a job early as opposed to leaving a job a year late. Yes. And that's why Bill never stayed at any job longer than eight seasons. Bill would go in there, he'd turn a franchise around, and he'd move on. I mean, he's been the head coach five different franchises, <laughs> and he's always left early. So I... I I look at this situation and say because they've done such a good job drafting in New Orleans the last couple of years and developing a young nucleus, even though Drew Brees is probably going to walk away in the next couple of seasons, mm -hmm. I think Sean Payton feels good about where this roster is right now. And, of course, they gave him the contract extension, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for me for Sean Payton to leave that situation to go deal with the Dallas Cowboys because that is one of the jobs in the NFL that does have some moving parts because of the owner. Just quickly, though, if Sean Payton came in, would he be more Jason Garrett or more Bill Parsons? No. No, he would only as come in as Bill Parcells. He would only he would only come in with full with full control, and that's the that was going to be my, the next thing I asked, which is, you wonder if, if this is a possibility if Jerry Jones is looking back and saying, you know what, we were we had a good thing going built with Bill Parcells that you guys should have won that playoff game with the Romo fumbled. Oh, I, I, listen, I apologize. People like that they had good teams. They could have gone on a real run. Maybe Jerry, when he is. Desperate to win a Super Bowl would say I'm gonna I'm gonna hire a guy who I can empower more so than I've empowered any coach since Bill Parcells. All right, Kenny, stick around. Coming up, how big of a challenge is Sean McVay facing in Super Bowl 53? We discuss next on First Things First. Nick, why are you always bringing up old stuff, man? Listen, man, I, I, I'm I, sorry. I forgot about 2006. Oh yeah, you, you forgot about the muff snap. Romo almost scored in this little.